Hey guys, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com, and I want to go through Tesla. I've been covering this for a bit, for a while in these free charts, and uh, I think we've actually been doing pretty well. So um, yesterday, I suggested to our members, we've had a trade going <clears throat> for quite a while on this, and you know, it's always uh, risky to hold a stock through earnings. Sorry, I'm just having a cocktail here. Um, not really. So anyway, um, it's always risky to hold the stock through earnings, particularly uh, a stock like Tesla, which does have a habit of selling off in response to earnings, particularly if the stock has had a run into earnings. It's kind of like buy the anticipation. Oh, here's earnings, sell the news, and then the stock drops. So that's typically... That's typically what happens, all right? And it actually did that this morning for like half a cup of coffee. But I want to just describe the reasoning here uh, for how we traded this. So we, we had a, a really, really nice trade on, still do. And my suggestion was, hey, prior to earnings, if you want to guarantee that you're right, then close half of your position for a good profit. That means that if the stock rallies, you're in in half and you're glad that you only took half off the table. You're glad that you uh, that you kept some on. On the other hand, if the stock tanks, that's okay because you took half off the table and you're saying, all right, I'm long the rest, but I'm still profitable on the trade because of the profits that I took yesterday. Okay, well, this kind of gave us the best of both worlds because we take some off the table prior to earnings, leave the rest on, and then this is what happened um, to the stock. I'll just kind of go to a five minute here. Actually, I'll take this down to a one minute chart because it's that important. Okay, um, here was yesterday and then the stock gaps down here. So, um, and but it only, I think it was like a percent, maybe not even that. Yeah, it gapped down 1%. And so if you're thinking as opposed to just assuming that what happened before will happen again, if you're thinking this is going to be your this is going to be your thought process. You're going to say, "Oh, okay, Tesla's down. Now, it's only down by a percent. Typically on a stock like this, if if there is truly going to be selling, it's not going to be down by just 1%. It's going to be down by more than that. And so then my question would be, oh my gosh, the stock's down 4 or 5% pre-market. Maybe this is a good time to be loading up. Maybe it's a good time to be buying. So that's what you'd be thinking if the stock really, really tanked. But then, of course, you're dealing with all the supply from people who didn't sell prior to earnings and now they're going like crap I just got to get my money back so you're kind of chewing through you're soaking up a lot of supply from regretful shareholders the folks that wished they'd sold prior to earnings because now they're down uh, you know another four or five percent from the close so they're going to be selling okay fine well this is a different um, situation here and listen to me I'm giving you pearls. This, these are pro tips here, all right? So I'm just telling you, when a stock like this that is supposed to trade off, it's supposed to trade lower, and it doesn't, that's a big, powerful signal. It's one of these things where you have to look at it and say, okay, if the stock was supposed to do one thing, everybody knows it, but then it's doing another, hey, I got to sway with that uh, wind. I got to be a willow and say, all right, I think it's time. Uh, I think it's time to buy this stock. And so that's what we did. You know, I actually put on a call trade um, pretty close uh, pretty close to the open here. And the reason is because the stock only gaps down uh, by 1%, and then it almost immediately um, starts running higher. Like it, it stayed down at this level for less than a minute, and then it started running up. So when you see that, this is what I'm saying. The stock's supposed to sell off. It's been really, really extended. So definitely don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. It's too extended. And then when the stock corrects just a little bit and then it starts going, that is a powerful, powerful 
move. That's a real powerful move. It is a buy signal. It's not the typical buy signal where, hey, you're looking for a stock that's uh, that's in consolidation. It's in kind of a squeeze here, looking for uh, the bottom of a base, and then we're trying to buy it just as it starts to come out. This is a faster trade. This is a trade where you look at this and you have to take action right away and you have to take it in a big way. And that's how you're going to be making money on these trades post earnings. So you're making money on the run up. You take half off the table. The stock comes down. You look at it. And frankly, then you're you're actually making another trade. You could say, well, I'm just going to add uh, you, I'm just going to add to the position that I have. And that's fine. You could do that. I always look at these, though, as kind of day trades where I'm not going to tolerate a loss in my new trade, even if my average cost basis based on the stuff that I kept over earnings, even if my average cost basis is still lower. I don't want my ad, my second buy, I don't want it to hurt my cost basis. I want it to actually help the profit in the stock. So if I buy it wrong, I need to get the hell out right away. That's not the case here. Um, the stock hits 900 bucks in like in a heartbeat, um, and then it takes off, it peels off. And so um, we took profits, we took partial profits on our call position, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking at 900, and if that level gets blown through tomorrow, maybe Monday, but the way this is trading, probably tomorrow, then I think we're up, we're in for another leg higher. So, look, I'm not a Teslonian where, like, you know, my religion is uh, wherever Elon Musk is. No, but I'm a pattern guy, and I see this pattern. I understand it. And I think the stock's poised to go higher. But here's the thing. You can say, oh, this is an ugly chart. Let me zoom out to a weekly. Boom. This is not an ugly chart. This is a pretty chart. This is a stock that's had that's been in a base building process for this entire year. And so I'm just telling you, this stock is ready to keep going. Uh, my bet is that by the end of the year, I'll say it, uh, that the stock's going to be at least a thousand bucks, probably even eleven hundred bucks. Okay, um, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys next time. Hope this helps.